In the previous video, we learned about nested routes. We created a block folder within the routes folder. And within the block folder, we created two subfolders, first and second. Both folders contain a page.svelte file which maps to slash blog slash first and slash blog slash second. Now this is fine at the moment, but defining routes by using predefined paths such as first and second is not always feasible for complex applications. Which brings us to scenario number four. For scenario four, the assumption is that we are building a product listing and detail page. If a user navigates to slash products, we should display a list of three products. However, in addition to this, if the user navigates to slash products followed by the ID of that product, we need to display details about that individual product. For example, if the user navigates to slash product slash one, we should display details about the first product. If the user navigates to slash products slash two, we need to display details about the second product and slash products slash three, we need to display details about the third product. Let's understand how to achieve this in SvelteKit. I'm going to create a new folder within the routes folder. This is going to be products. Within the folder, create a new page.svelte file. Within the file, let's add HTML to display a list of three products. If you now head back to the browser and navigate to slash products, we see the list of products as expected. So the first part of our scenario is complete. Now, from what we've learned about nested routes, we know that the second part of this particular scenario can be implemented by creating three separate folders within the products folder. For example, a new folder with file name one and a new file plus page.svelte within that folder with HTML details about product will map to slash products slash one. We see details about product, which is the expected output. So nested routes will work, but we have to see the bigger picture. Right now, we have just created the one subfolder. However, if we had a hundred products within the products folder, we would need to create a hundred subfolders which is most definitely not the right solution. So the correct solution here is to use dynamic route segments. For our scenario, the product ID, which can be one, two, three, and so on, should be a dynamic value that maps to a particular file in the products folder. And in SvelteKit, you can wrap a folder name with brackets to create a dynamic route. Let me explain what I mean by that. In the products folder, First, let's get rid of folder one. Instead, we are going to create a new folder, but this folder name is special. Within a pair of square brackets, I'm going to specify product ID. You could name it just ID, but product ID makes sense given the fact that it's nested inside the products folder. Within this folder, I'm going to create a new plus page.svelte file. The HTML is going to be details about product. If I now save the file, head back to the browser and navigate to localhost 5173 slash product slash one, we see the product details page. The same holds good for slash products slash two, slash three, and even slash 100. This is possible because SvelteKit treats square brackets in a folder name as a dynamic segment to create a dynamic route. 
In our case, product ID is the dynamic part. Slash products slash product ID. All right, we have now created a dynamic route, but our heading text needs to be improved. At the moment, we just display the text details about product irrespective of what the product ID is. In a typical application, you would want to extract the product ID and do something with that ID. Perhaps make an API call to fetch the details about that product. Of course, for our scenario, let's keep it simple and just display the product ID in the browser. Now to extract the route parameter, product ID, we need to import a module that SwellKit makes available for use in our application. And that is the stores module. If you're new to Svelte, let me mention that every .svelte file, such as page.svelte we have here, is a Svelte component capable of containing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all in the same file. To import the stores module, we're going to add a script block at the top. Within the script tags, we're going to import the stores module. The syntax is import from $app slash stores. Now the stores module exports a few different things, but for us, we are currently interested in page. Page is a readable store whose value contains the current page data. Or in simple words, you can think of page as a value which will constantly be updated if there is any change in the page information. And it so happens, this page store has access to the parameters of a given route. In our case, that would be product ID. Let's access that value and store it in a constant. Const product ID is equal to dollar page dot params dot product ID. The dollar symbol here at the start is really important. The params object will contain a key called product ID and this is the same dynamic segment we have specified for the folder name. Once we have the product ID, we can render it as part of the HTML. Details about product, product ID. If you now save the file and head back to the browser, navigate to slash products slash one, we see details about product one. Navigate to slash 100, we see details about product 100. Scenario four has been successfully implemented. All right, let me quickly summarize what we have done. We first created a folder with a special name. The folder name consists of a pair of square brackets and an ID within the brackets. We then created a page.svelte file within that folder. This lets SwellKit map the file to any route with the URL slash products slash product ID. Within the page.svelte file, we use the stores module provided by SwellKit to access the product ID route parameter. We then displayed it as part of the HTML. Dynamic routes are useful when implementing the list detail pattern in any UI application. Hopefully, you now know how to do that with SwellKit. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.